What's going on fam? It's your boy Mosey here with another episode of Mosey Reacts. On today's episode of Mosey Reacts, I'm going to be starting a new series. The series I'm going to be starting is Park and Recreations. Um, I'm somewhat familiar with it in the sense that I know it's um, somewhat like The Office in the sense that a camera is following people around and then it's them carrying out their daily jobs. And instead of it being in a paper company, they're government employees. Um, but I've just never really given it a chance. Um, as far as I know, with these two shows, you're in one of two camps. Either you're an Office fan or you're a Parks fan. And that's it and um it's like pepsi and cola um and i'm obviously team office um but hopefully you know um after watching this series i might switch to park and rex or hopefully i would just become a fan of both um i'm guessing that's what's gonna happen is that maybe a fan of both just because comedy is my bread and butter for shows um but before i get into today's episode i do want to thank you guys for sticking around and watching the series with me uh, i do greatly appreciate it and if you're new here definitely consider subscribing and joining the family and as always, this is not a market substitute. You should always support the official release. My name is Leslie Nope, and I work for the Parks and Recreation Department. Can I ask you a few questions? <laughs> Would you say that you are enjoying yourself and having fun, having a moderate amount of fun and somewhat enjoying yourself, or having no fun and no enjoyment? <laughs> All right, we're starting off on a good note. Sir, this, this is a children's slide. The government stinks. The lines are too long. This is what I meant about it being like the office. The headshots of them cutting to scenes. And it feels good to be needed. Could you put your arms to your side? It's a great time to be a woman. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> Nancy Pelosi. We did it. You know, I, I like to tell people, you know, get on board and buckle up because... My ride's gonna be. <laughs> oh, uh, this is gonna be a good series. I can already tell. No Tonight is our next hmm. monthly. So I saw in like the intro, it said Gesser and Chris Pratt. I thought he was a part of this show. Leslie will be running it, and we need one more. <gasps> I like Aziz Asar. Tom, are you? <laughs> this is a great thing for you guys to see. Here we go. It's locked. <laughs> okay, go. she is definitely a female Michael Scott. Thank you so much for coming. What an amazing turnout. My name is Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Parks and Recreation Department, and we're having a meeting in here. <laughs> oh god. Do you have any questions about permits? So, <laughs> I like Tom. I'm Leslie Nope and with me is department member Tom Haverford. But the music is so loud. Stop the graffiti, please. Please. I don't like obscenities just as much as Do you they really have town person. meetings like this? Right. Like I but I'm I guessing they do, but like how do you find out about like, these? Hey, my because you my Frankly, I don't really care for politics. Hmm. I don't care for them, but I will definitely talk about them. I'm, I'm here to talk about the abandoned lot on Sullivan Street. My boyfriend, he fell in and broke both his legs. And let me speak with you for a minute. So your boyfriend fell down into this pit, right? Yes. And um, this guy, is it pretty serious? You guys living together? Yes. Wow, uh, I'm sure this must be really tough for you, you know, just... <laughs> he has a wedding ring on, is he hitting on her? With and now both legs broken, he's just weak, you have to take care of him, you probably feel like you need to move on. And are you actually <laughs> hitting on me right now? Oh, oh, God, no, I'm not, I'm not hitting on you, I'm actually married. I'm just an open person, and I like connecting with people, and, you know, if we go away one weekend and just kind of talk about this... Look. I'd love to do it. The bottom line is, I've been trying to get this thing fixed. <laughs> he says, go away one weekend, but he's a married man. <laughs> Tom's going to be my favorite. And you need to do something about it. <laughs> Tom's supporting okay. her. I'll do something about it. Is that a promise? It's a pinky promise. <laughs> I pinky promise. All, All right, Michael. And then when that's done, we're going to put a park on the land. 
Like, is she not gonna blink at all? Like. Okay. <laughs> this pit. The chance to build a hole. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> she, she's trying to be like an evil villain staring out this the window. <laughs> so, uh, maybe give my wife a call and give her the suits. And then, if they don't fit her, maybe she'll give them to me. <laughs> So he really does have a wife? I thought for sure that was just like, uh, hey, I have a ring to make women like not as defensive around him so then he can spit his game. Leslie, hello. Tom and I work really well together. We're both outsiders. I'm a woman. He's a, oh, I think he's a Libyan. I'm from Bennettsville, South Carolina. I'm what you might call a redneck. Okay, Brandon, <laughs> how do we make this work? Okay, Tom. Directly, ask them to put up the money. No, parks are not a priority. From time to time, when I think of an eloquent saying or a phrase, I have Tom write it down. He's collected them from my memoirs. Here's <laughs> Leslie's quote from Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> he is a Pam and Michael relationship. Oh my God. Cover our democracy with blood. Hmm. Sounded better when I said it. Still good though. <laughs> I have an idea. What about Mark well, when I think about the logistics, the various hoops that you're going to have to jump through, I would say, is it likely? No, nah, it's not likely, you know. But is it possible? No. It's not possible. <laughs> what? Why? Uh. Why? I don't know. There's like a million reasons why. It sounds like you're telling me to go for it. There's no way. <laughs> no, Leslie. He's not telling you to go for it. Could you do me a favor? For old time's sake. Mark and I, it's complicated. We slept together. <laughs> <laughs> Michael and Jan. Oh, my God. You know what? Yeah, we did like five years ago. <laughs> he doesn't even remember. Honey, can you straighten up your area a little bit? Like I'm not. I feel like I'm gonna be comparing this to The Office a lot. I don't want to because I know it's its own Parsley show. But God damn. And we're gonna go take a look at the pet. Ms. Perkins' house. <laughs> Why is she wearing a hard hat? <laughs> Doorbell. I'm gonna need to look up which came out first, The Office or Parks, because there are way too many similarities. Or are they maybe by the same yeah, creator? From last night. Yeah, 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 no worries. Yeah, of course I do. And this is our college intern, April. Just Hopefully she gets better. Yeah, I, I don't like her uh, just because I saw her in Criminal Minds. But hopefully she's better than she was in Criminal Minds. This must be our hero. <laughs> Did you pass me my itch stick? Of course. How do you break both of his legs falling in? Like... How did he fall in and how did he break both of his legs? Like, what was he doing? Dream with me for a second, Anne. Doesn't this neighborhood deserve a first class? I'm so confused. He what, he rolled down a pile of dirt and broke both of his legs? What is he, the guy from SpongeBob made out of glass? I was born with glass bones and paper skin. Every morning I break my legs. And every afternoon I break my arms. <laughs> so that was the most awkwardest fall but what? notice how she didn't break both okay, of her legs so brother. what did andy do to break you both of his legs don't move around as much good thing i was wearing that hard hat but it it fell off after my head hit that run <laughs> <laughs> all right my dude oh my god the similarities holy my shit boss will listen to me now that i broke my clavicle foam collar <laughs> You know how painful breaking a clavicle is? It's literally one of the most painful bones to break. Oh, hey, baby, if you go into the kitchen, could you make me pancakes real quick? Uh, sure. Ooh, are pancakes being made? <laughs> <laughs> like, her and Michael, could you imagine if they got together, their kids? Come on, Ryan. I've been a loyal foot soldier. What is with her? Is that a trap? Ryan. I don't know how to explain this to you. When you've been down in the pit, have you been in the pit? What? It all like, happens. again, I hate to compare it to The Office, but you cannot tell me her putting that f 
that blow up pillow around her neck is not like Michael Scott wrapping his I've foot in bubble wrap. Around the office. I don't want this parks department to build any parks because I don't believe in government. Why would he join a government if he hates government? Like, I understand he's trying to stop them from spending, but like, I don't know. It's just like he's in the end of the, he's in the den of the enemies. So, I don't know. Little dog with a chew toy. All right, you guys. All right, all right. I'll ask him. Everybody wants to know what your decision is. Government work can beat you down. I would say that I lost my optimism about government in about two months. I've got a few rules about how to survive and prosper in a government. It's pretty, uh, and I think true. I'm There's so much red tape in government that I guarantee if I you went in there to try to do good, you would lose your try to build a park. faith pretty quickly. Why should I? You owe me one, remember? It depicts the very famous battle at Conega Creek. We have a lot of children visit, so often we have to cover up the more gruesome parts with a poster. That is horrifying. Right. Why, why did you paint over that? So what do you see, like, <laughs> what? This is huge. I'm barely 34, and I've already landed a Parks Department Exploratory Subcommittee. Why does that make me feel so chip. old? She's 34? I'm 30. There's no way that there's only four more years till I was hurt. So no. It's exciting. Every now and then, we have these little gatherings, and Leslie gets plastered on Halloween. She was dressed up as Batman, not Batgirl, Batman, and I convinced her to go stop a crime that was going on outside. <laughs> I love Tom. In the world. <laughs> you know what? America is awesome. Never know an opportunity is going to strike. Yeah. You got to be ready for it. Yeah. Are you excited? Definitely, yeah, I'm fired up. <laughs> <laughs> she is I so drunk. Democracy or whatever only works when people get involved. Well, I'm getting involved. It's pit filled in. And it's funny that. Even if it takes. Did Rosita? I'm gonna have to look out. Did she leave the office and come to Parks, or did she leave Parks and go to the office? I've created this office as a symbol of how I feel about government. This oh, he's a Claymore. That's dope. Belong to a local bootlegger. People who come in here to ask me for things have to stare right down the barrel. Damn! Plant? How is that this? allowed? This is my basketball court. Alrighty, well that was it for episode one of Park and Rex, and what a great episode. Um, I, I know you guys are probably upset that I compared it to The Office quite a bit, but um, the similarities are uncanny. But if it's if it's anything, if it continues like how it was this first episode, I will love it. That that was a great first episode. I'm loving Tom, his his vibe is so funny. Like he's just like, I mean, if I'm gonna work here, I might as well have some fun, and that's how exactly I would be if I was a government employee. Um, uh, what's her name um leslie leslie is definitely michael you cannot tell me that they i'm gonna have to look up there's no way somebody from the office worked on the park and rex or park and rex worked on the office there's some overlap there has to be um but what a great episode i'm gonna enjoy this series um, i'm not sure how many seasons there are but i um i'm gonna enjoy it um i'm curious if it's gonna have an overall story like uh, is there going to be an overall story like them fixing the park is their overall story or if it's just going to be sort of like um, the office where it's just random episodes and there's an underlying story but it just doesn't really matter that much um, it'll be interesting though but I definitely enjoyed it um, I do appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this reaction it's been real it's definitely been fun it's been real fun later on